I'm sure you all have heard of the stereotype, dumb jock. This implies that somehow there's this trade-off between athletics and academics. If you succeed in sports, you're not gonna have such a hot time when it comes to the academic field. So as both an athlete and an academic, I'm going to put this stereotype to the test. My research focuses on the concept of cognitive reserve. This is the brain's ability to find alternative solutions to everyday problems. So this would be like if you're driving down the road and you encounter some construction, not unheard of here in Lethbridge, you would on the fly come up with an alternative route and get to where you needed to go. So those who have sufficient cognitive reserve, when their brain isn't functioning as it should, they're able to bypass the typical cognitive pathways and use alternative ones to get the job done. So research has shown that those with higher cognitive reserve are better able to stave off the degenerative brain changes associated with disease, such as Parkinson's and even Alzheimer's. Research has also shown that higher cognitive reserve enables you to function better and for longer when hit with unexpected life events, such as traumatic stress, surgery, and stroke. So I bet you're all thinking, sounds pretty great, right? How do I get me some of that cognitive reserve? Well, let me tell you. One well-known way is education. The more schooling you have, the higher your cognitive reserve is. Two other less well-known ways is playing a sport or exercise, and a second one is learning a second language. So very specifically in my research, I'm asking the question, if you participate in a sport in adolescence, is your cognitive reserve going to be higher in young adulthood? I hypothesize that since sport is basically just exercise formed and forming complex uh, associations, similar to that of learning a second language, that playing sports will have a synergistic effect on your cognition later in life. So to do this, I'm using a rat model in which I'll have several different groups to test the different um, exercise, uh, sedentary lifestyle, and even multiple sports, and how that affects cognition later in life. So instead of making rats play sports, that would be cool, can't do it, unfortunately. So they'll be doing complex motor tasks. After they finish this, I will be testing their cognition in a different behavioral test, such as uh, long-term memory, short-term memory, and decision-making, all important aspects of cognition. So a significant positive result from this would really encourage youth to be more involved with sport, not only to maintain current physical health, but mental health as well. To be like Sporty Sally over here and help succeed in post-secondary school and even help prevent from you losing your marbles when you hit those golden years. Thank you.